This lesson is on percents. Great percents. The meaning of percent is found in separating its two syllables. Per in math means out of. And cent comes from Latin meaning 100. So percent simply means out of 100. This little symbol with two little O's and a divided by sign is the mass symbol used to represent percent. You can think of the two little O's as meaning out of. Millicent just found out she got 60% on her math test. Should she be concerned? Firstly, what would 60% look like? Remember, it means 60 out of 100. So we'll start with a grid containing 100 unit squares. When we shade in one of these unit squares, that would represent 1 out of 100, or 1%. If we shaded in all of the unit squares, this would represent 100 out of 100, or 100%. To represent 60%, we need to shade in 60 out of the 100 squares. This shaded part is the 60% that Millicent got right. What percent did she get wrong? It would be the 40 non-shaded squares at the bottom. This would represent 40% that she got wrong. In math, always do your corrections, regardless of your mark, because often learning new concepts requires mastery of old ones. Here are a few of my favorite sports quotes. You miss 100% of the shots you never take. I always gave 110% out on the field. Sports are 90% inspiration and 10% perspiration. Being a top athlete is 50% talent, 50% hard work, and the other 50% is mental. Even though all these quotes are intended to be motivational, Two of them do not make sense on a mathematical scale. Which are those two? That's right, the two that add up to greater than 100%. Which leads us to our next question. Is it possible to have percents greater than 100? 100% does mean one whole quantity, but what if something increases? Say Tiny was three feet tall 10 years ago, and now he is 6 feet tall. We could describe his height now as being 200% of his height 10 years ago. Percents greater than 100% mean that something has now increased from its original amount. Here's another example. The price of gas at one point in 1998 was 47.9 cents per liter. In 2013, gas is priced at 135.9 cents per liter. The price of gas in 2013 is 284 percent of its 1998 price. How many grids of 100 unit squares would we need to represent 284 percent? We would need to start with three 100 unit square grids. We would shade in two of them completely and shade in 84 out of 100 squares in the last grid. This would represent 100% plus 100% plus 84% giving us 284%. We often round answers to the nearest percent. However, in the world of high finance, where every cent counts, we need to use decimals and fractions of a percent. The Royal Bank of Canada has a little over $837.5 billion in assets. To them, a difference of 0.01%, that's one one-hundredth 
of 1% in interest means a difference of over $83 million. Often what we do with percents is convert them to fractions and decimals. In the case where the percent is already a fraction or decimal, it can create some confusion. So it is very important to have a clear picture in your head of what a percent less than one looks like. Let's draw three quarters of a percent on a grid. Now remember, one square represents one out of 100 or one percent. So we'll take that one little square and divide it into quarters. Next, we'll shade in three of the quarters representing three quarters of a percent. So it's smaller than one out of a hundred. Let's draw a hundred and thirty seven point five percent on a grid. So first we need to start with two one hundred square unit grids. We would fill in the first one completely representing one hundred percent. On the second grid we would fill in 37 out of 100, representing 37 percent. And finally, we would take one little square and fill in half of it, representing 0.5 percent. So there we have it, 137.5 percent.